Telemark is like a combination of skating, like cross country skiing, ski jumping, but we also have to ski downhill. It's like the triathlon of skiing. And the most exciting is the parallel. There is some fight and it's nice to see. You have to be strong in so many different ways and fearless as well. I've even broken my nose and my thumbs. It's the fun of Telemark because uh, it's never boring. <laughs> It's just unbeatable. Britain's Jasmine Taylor is one of Telemark's rising stars, having won 20 World Cup medals in just 18 months. But money is in short supply in this sport, and the skier wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for support off the slopes. In the beginning, I didn't have any sponsors, and my mum suggested putting a newspaper advert in our local newsletter for people to donate unwanted items to us um, to sell on the car boot sales. I like my tagline that says, um, help me achieve my dream and free up your cupboards. Cheeky. Yeah, <laughs> very. The support was just incredible, really got me started. The organisers for the next Winter Olympics have already said that there won't be any new sports at the 2022 Games in Beijing, but there are opportunities for new disciplines to be included. So Telemark, for example, could be part of the skiing programme, whilst there are also bids from within snowboarding, Nordic combined and ski jumping. But Telemark think their campaign is the strongest. We don't have something comparable in the Olympics right now, so I think it would be a really exciting addition. People will watch it and will love it and I think we are in a good way to that and yeah, hopefully 2022 in the Olympics. My dream is the Olympics, that's the, the last thing uh, what I, I need to, to reach. It's the ultimate platform, isn't it? The ultimate sporting event, so to be there would just be incredible.